Holy Bronze Age Horror Gem. Yeah, we got undervalued Bronze Age Horror that's spiking and it's not what you would expect. Another list, another week of additional record breakers. Not enough to make our hot 10, but enough to make the key collectors runners up list. Hit the like, slap the subscribe. We're here every week for the community and Gem hit him off at number 10. Number 10, we have one of my favorite symbiote keys, Marvel Team Up 141. It's one of three books that debuted Spider-Man's new costume seemingly all at once, tying for the first appearance with Amazing Spider-Man 252. But this is the Canadian price variant that we're talking about. Comic fan, we got Mignola on this cover. I want to hear from the community, which one is your favorite book of the three? We have ASM 252, as Jem just mentioned. The book on the list, Marvel Team Up 141, which is my personal favorite. But don't forget about Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 90. I have cat hair in my mouth. I digress. That's a gorgeous black cat cover. The 75 cent Canadian price variant CGC 9.8 came to market. It last sold for $1,275 in 2020, up now 49% selling for $1,900. Butch, we told them last week about a Canadian price variant that broke records. They got to keep up with this rapidly moving marketplace by downloading the best comic app in existence, Key Collector Comics. Use code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription. Support the show. Better your hunt. Keep up with this marketplace and... At the list at number nine, Flash 106. This is one of my personal favorite Flash keys, debuting in 1959, the first appearance in origin of Gorilla Grodd. Also the first appearance of the Pied Piper and Solovar, who previously ruled Gorilla City. We've told you that the DC keys are on the rise. They've made the hot 10. They're here on the honorable mentions, and we're reporting on a CGC 7.0, which sold for $26.29 back in 2015, up now 45%. Selling for $3,800. Over a $1,000 price hike, hot damn, comic fam. And with the Flash's future so uncertain. I mean, we have the CW era seemingly coming to a close. And with the not very good PR surrounding Ezra Miller, what's going to happen for our Scarlet Speedster? Well, this may be one of the most prime times to invest in flash books before they inevitably go up because he's a legacy character at the list at number eight we warned you the horror has arrived we have supernatural thrillers issue number five to talk about debuting in 1973 the first appearance of the living mummy, the true mummy of Marvel Comics post the Comics Code. We have a CGC 9.8 to report on. It sold for $1,950 back in June, and it's up 97%, now selling for $3,850. An increase of nearly $2,000 for the living mummy. Is this mummy spec? No, this is Bronze Age horror spec. The spec on the occult, the supernatural. Imagine what's happened with Johnny Blaze and Ghost Rider over the last year. This right here shows very promising futures for other supernatural thriller books, key books, and hero books. I'm looking at you, Tomb of Dracula number one. Let's take a break from the Bronze Age horror for just a moment here and introduce number seven on the list. It's a theme park comic book, Star Wars Galaxy Edge, issue one from 2019. A variant cover described as the Imagineering edition that was gifted to developers of the Galaxy Edge's theme park at Disney World and Disneyland. Only 6,800 copies were produced. And Jem, what happens to comic books when they are gifted to muggles? Oh yeah, I'm sure those got rolled up and put in someone's back pocket or folded in half or whatever, which makes a high-grade copy very hard to come across. So let's report on a CGC 9.8, why don't we? It sold for $4,100 back in November. Tom, what's it selling for now? An increase of over $2,000, an increase of 51% clearing the $6,000 marker selling for $6,200. Hot uh, damn. Next at the list at number six, let's keep the Bronze Age occult supernatural going with Frankenstein issue number one, debuting in 1973. Jam, we have a gorgeous 9-8 to talk about. Yeah, I always thought X-Men 40 was the first appearance, but that Frankenstein was later revealed to be an android. We do have another CGC 9.8. It sold for $1,250 back in 2020. It's up 172%, now selling for $3,395. Keep an eye out on your Legion of Monsters. We were talking about Man-Thing just this past Hot 10. There are so many underappreciated, undervalued supernatural keys that Marvel's put out that you should be considering. 
let alone the DC keys that we've been reminding you nearly weekly for two years to consider. Next at the list at number five, Strange Tales issue 111. It's got a lot going for it. The second appearance of Doctor Strange, the first appearance of Baron Mordo, but most importantly, my spec is on the first appearance of Asbestos Man. Who else loves it when Jem says Asbestos Man? Well, we have a 9.2 that sold this past week, and this was the highest grade copy of the second appearance of Doctor Strange to sell prior to the release of the second Doctor Strange movie. So let's see what this member secured. And I want to hear from the community in the comment section if you thought that that was a good deal. I'd like you to win this Omni-Man Invincible number one by commenting prior record for that 9-2 sold back in 2014, being set for 2350, up 151%, an increase of 35 hundo, selling for 5,899. Which brings us to number four on the list in some more familiar territory, Amazing Spider-Man, issue number one, first solo title, first meeting of Spider-Man and Fantastic Four, first appearance of J. Jonah Jameson and the Chameleon. The second appearance of our web slinger and an intro copy, a low grade 1.5, that back in December sold for $8,600. Well, this isn't December anymore. We have an increase of $4,000 this week. That's an increase of 47%, selling for $12,600. Hot damn. And moving over on the list to number three, we have a major premiere issue debuting in 1962, Aquaman number one. Some more DC love on this list. It seems like the DC books live in the honorable mentions. A CGC 9.4 sold for $20,400 back in 2018. A lot of Aquaman hype back then, and it seems coming back to the forefront with a 52% increase, selling for $30,995. What a book to make the list, Jim. I mean, Aquaman 2 is inbound. Have you heard the rumors? Not only is the PR surrounding Amber Heard rather rough right now, that they've dwindled her appearance time, rumored under 10 minutes. Not only that, but there's a petition to have her removed completely. Kind of crazy. Next at the list at number two, we have Incredible Hulk number one, the first appearance and origin of the Hulk, Bruce Banner, Betty Ross, Rick Jones, and General Thunderbolt Ross. Blue chip Marvel key. This is one that I've always wanted, never owned, and I don't think I ever will. Looking at these numbers, we have a CGC 5.5. It sold for $36,066 back in December. It's up now 50%, selling for 54 grand. An increase of nearly $18,000. Hulk just smashed the record this week. Comic fam, if you enjoy what we do, do yourself a solid and click the link in the description and subscribe to one of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube. Gem Mint over at Gem Mint Collectibles. What do you got going on over there? I appreciate that, Tom. Weekly comic book day reviews, omnibus reviews, statue unboxing, Sunday morning live streams with my wife. We have a ton of fun. Come swing by. And now at the list at number one, a major record breaker, a 9.8 that just outdid itself by nearly $24,000 in a few months. Neil Adams' greatness, the new reintroduction of the Joker. We have Batman 251 debuting in 1973. We had a few Neil Adams books on our hot 10 list, and this one was surprisingly missing. It makes sense that its monster sale landed it at number one for the honorable mentions. Batman 251 is credited as going from campy 60s Joker to homicidal maniac that we know and love. And plus a 9.8 to boot. It sold for $11,100 back in January, and it's up 215%, now selling for $35,000. A lot of love going out to the key comic books created by one of the greatest artists of all time. We appreciate your time today, comic fam. Comment down below. It'll let you win a giveaway. Butch would appreciate it. And as always, eat responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said join myself gem mint and all my friends and homies over on the best new app to buy and sell collectibles whatnot available for both androids and iphones dollar start auctions that last as little as 15 seconds long we're doing giveaways we have key books silver bronze age and so much more we also have two other videos for you to check out we made them for you have a great week